Ross and I are going to go load some hay that's been kind of left on the ground. A big bale, a three-quarter ton bale that I broke. I picked up part of it, but still some of it there. And then there's some of the hay that we had hauled in that we were selling. Some of the bales weren't really good. The strings were missing or they were loose and falling apart. So we're going to go pick all that stuff up. We're here at the hay barn. We're gonna get some hay to take to uh, Navajo. So that um, there'll be some hay there for the weekend. I'm gonna be gone. So I need to have some there so Henson can feed. Ross is here, he's gonna load some of it. The other day I loaded it and uh, Today, he said he wanted to load it. He begged, cried, pleaded. He almost paid me some money. Uh, but I said, I don't need your money. Just load the hay. So Ross is gonna load some hay. And I'll spell him here in a minute if he needs. I can hear the guineas. Guinea hands behind me there. To the side of me, I guess. These are the bottom bales of this stack, so they're always the heaviest. I almost feel bad just watching. Maybe not too bad. Not, not bad enough. Maybe I'll find a way to prop this deal up and then you know, might give, give Ross a hand. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Okay, jump in there. I'll throw him in. Okay. And you can take him all the way in. Yeah, that'll work. We'll go load that loose thing. <coughs> oh, man. So this is one of the bales. It's one of these three quarter ton bales. And I broke it the other day. I picked up about half of it. And so there's still some of it here. We're just going to load it in. We'll take it to Navajo. I'll go put it to... Uh, with those three-year-old fillies that I have pinned up that we're, we're riding. So Ross is getting after it. Pitchforking it. I showed him just a little bit about how to use that pitchfork. Not that I know. <laughs> I don't usually pitch 4K. But I felt somewhat responsible since I'm the one that tore the bell up. But he's doing a fine job. Good job, Ross. If your mama could see you now. Guess what Nancy said to me before I left a while ago. 
is what she said. Your bags are packed. You're ready to go. Can't wait to get you out that door. And she said that because uh, we're going to go on a little birthday trip. It's her birthday. That's why she said that. So don't read anything into that. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. We were sure lucky to have Ross when we are older in our life. Helps keep us young. There's almost 30 years between him and his older sister. His older sister has two daughters and they're both older than Ross. Sure, I'll have a turn. I'm gonna have a turn. Since my bags are packed, I'm ready to go. Oh man, I'm tired. Are you that good with the shovel? I'm better with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Have to see it to believe it. <laughs> we're just gonna throw all those bells in. These bells were just in the stack like this and either the twine came off, they were loose, you know, they, they were light whatever and so we're just going to use them for ourselves sure you can probably pick that one up two pieces maybe one piece just how talented are you how big a boy are you maybe do half of it that way it won't just do half of it so it won't split on you then it'll just be a mess there you go Good. Maybe you want to go over the top of it. Because oh, yeah. these other ones we'll put towards the back here. Our gloves were for so the hay doesn't get in them. Well, they have to be pretty tight. Those probably, since I've been wearing them, probably are not very tight on your hands. You have those long, narrow hands. Mine are probably just a little bit wider. Yeah, that's, the bottom ones are pretty much full bales that are tied up. We just have to be gentle when we put them in. Is that one? Sure. Let's do it. Well, what's the half? Let's put that part bale over the top first. So pick up that. See, there's just a part of a bale. No, just right here. This loose stuff. Yeah, just put that loose stuff in first. Let's get all that out of the way. Because my bags are packed. And I'm ready to go. Which one first? This one? Well, this, you're going to be very gentle with that one. Okay, you do this one then. You show. <laughs> Me. Okay, let's put these others in. Put that part bell and put it up over the top. Or actually, you don't stand it right there. Let's stand it up 
So it's kind of a holding everything in and we'll, so you're gonna have to put it on the edge. Lengthwise, yeah. It's gonna have to be turned up. Yeah, like that. Okay, and just push it in, push the bottom. That way it's just holding everything in there. We can throw everything kind of over up, up over the top of it. Okay, so that's like our wall, so to speak. So you want me to do these or what? Um, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just don't break it up. I don't, you know. Oh, I don't know. You probably do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll see if I can tear it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good thing I didn't do it. So where are you going to put all this hay? I'm going to take it to the stockyards where those three-year-olds are. Mm -hmm. That one looks dangerous. Not dangerous for Jerry though. Oh. Okay, last one. Hardest one. Mm. Danger, danger. Did you yeah. say I'm doing good? Good job, teamwork. All right. Thanks for the motivation. I was gonna button up my collar, but my buttons broke. I really flexed the other day. <laughs> I broke it. So I can't button my top button. So, so I'm about to get a little hay down my shirt, which I really don't like. I didn't get any down my shirt, I don't think. I think it all just went in my pants. <laughs> some of the fillies down here. been turned out the pasture we just brought them in start riding them Ross is gonna unload these bales it right next to it and then we'll stack it on top of it just make a nice stack right there
Okay, that's good. I'll pull up, shut the gate, and we'll go up and fill. This horse is tired. We're going to go up and fill Henson with some fuel. So we'll follow him up to the station there. We're here at Navajo Travel Center getting some fuel. And you have to wear a mask when you go in there. So I'd have a mask There's on. This tank we're filling up. And what's that? Guess tank we're filling up. Uh, whose tank are we filling up, Ross? Not ours. Not ours. Well, Henson's. Yeah. Henson's your, bro tank. your brother? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna fill up Henson's tank. We're gonna put some of this tank, this oh, and this ours can. Too. Yeah, we're gonna take five gallons, give him about thirty. Ross is struggling with the gas cap. Hey, don't say that. Okay, he's a don't say it, he's got it. Yeah. Got this deal done. Okay, just leave it on the just leave it on the ground. Fill her up. We're gonna put some fuel in there. For Henson too. For who? Henson. Okay. Uh, who's Henson? Tell, tell us about filling your, your truck up there, Henson. Very sensitive. Can't spill gas out because it's real high dollar right now. Yeah. We we already lost about five dollars on the ground. <laughs> Yeah. It it drinks as fast, but it doesn't take it fast. Yeah. Can't pour it in fast, but it'll it'll drink it pretty fast. It sucks it down faster than you can put it in. Yeah, that's the deal. Yeah. There it is. That's how you have to put it on. Got a nice little clamp going on there. Handy dandy Ford. Um we were told what the problem was one time. Hard to fix, so super yeah, hard. Yeah, super hard to fix. You gotta take the bed off, you gotta take the tires off, the axle out, and, and then drop the gas tank. And then, yeah, drop the gas tank. So we decided this uh, yard sale plan was cheaper. 50 cents. Yeah, and it was cheaper to just to do that. So that's what we're doing. 